it's kind of a messed up thing to do, to ask someone what their beliefs are about something, and then when you don't like their answer, you turn around and try to destroy their life. I mean, if you ask them this question because they're treating people poorly, okay, I, I, I guess I can understand why you're so mad, but I don't know. It just goes overboard sometimes, you know? I mean, there are obviously people who have behaviors that we need to call out, and some people that we should probably shame. But if they're not doing anything to hurt anyone, and they just have certain beliefs that you find abhorrent, you know, I mean, I don't think it's appropriate in the workplace to ask people about gender issues or sexuality issues or religion or politics. Because if you don't like someone's answers and you're someone's boss, I mean, to me, it shouldn't give you the right to fire them. But that's the kind of laws that we have right now. Companies can ask you about your beliefs and then fire you over them. You know, even though we're not supposed to be able to fire people over their religious beliefs. If someone hasn't made any public statements about their beliefs, it's nobody's business but theirs. If someone made some problematic statement 20 years ago, it's really stupid to bring it up as if it's... I mean, unless it's something that someone has still proven themselves to believe today, and they still treat people based on those beliefs today, then yeah, fine, call that out. But otherwise, I mean, like I said in that other video, yeah, it's just stupid. Now, if someone has made recent statements, then yeah, people should be able to hold them accountable for those statements. Granted, I think companies should be regulated to the point where you can't fire or hire someone based on their beliefs only for their actual work. Having said that, there are people out there who basically say, agree with everything that I say, or you're a... Insert some sort of bigoted label here, right? And their calling in life seems to be all about outing people who they deem to be bigoted. If people disagree with them about anything, anything at all, they make it their goal to destroy those people's lives. Then there are the people who go around trying to find the most minuscule of microaggressions and blow it up into something the size of Hitler. Yeah, between those types of people I just mentioned and, you know, Trump's America where nobody has filters anymore and with required tolerance seminars in workplaces and sections of the LGBT community essentially saying, ha ha, with that choir message of, the system is going to convert your children and there's nothing you can do about it. Ha ha. Aren't we so clever for saying it? Yeah, between all of this type of stuff happening, there has been a sharp increase in anti-LGBT sentiment. You can certainly see it on any popular LGBT-oriented video here on YouTube, in the comment section, and or in the uh, the like-dislike ratio. If it's diversity-oriented or LGBT-oriented, I mean, they're just, I mean, sometimes the ratio is just like, wow. So sometimes they hide the comments on them and they sometimes hide the, the like-dislike ratio because it's so bad sometimes, you know? But uh, the Overton window can only move so quickly. We have a long way to go when it comes to acceptance. But we're simply not going to get there if we use some of the tactics that we've been using over the past, I don't know, three or four years. If we try to force the Overton window to move too quickly, it will eventually just snap back to an earlier position and that will suck for a lot of people. But I don't think any of the people that really need to hear this advice will ever really hear anything that, or even listen to, I should say, anything that even slightly resembles this advice. Things are going to get a lot worse before they get better, assuming they get better. We may end up seeing quite a bit of violence on the street. Like I said in my last video, it's just time to kick back and watch the train wreck going on in front of us.